You know, I covered John McCain for a lot of years, but maybe not like a lot of the reporters. I wasn't a political reporter. I didn't cover his campaigns, and I knew him a little bit more uh, in the international arena. Every year, he used to go to a security conference in Munich. He would uh, sometimes take journalists along, and there were a couple things on those trips that were uh, striking. One was he was always eager to take other members of Congress along. Any party, any degree of seniority, House, Senate, he just wanted other people to be interested in international affairs. And, you know, as the years went on in this country, that became a heavier and heavier lift. When they went and met other leaders, then he would uh, bring them forward and he would have nicknames for all of them and he would introduce them. And uh, he just wanted other members of Congress to care about the world. The second thing was ahead of the conference in Munich, he would almost always stop someplace else uh, in the world. Um, where you wouldn't think uh, most politicians would have any particular interest in going, uh, and certainly where there were not going to be any particular uh, advantages for an Arizona politician in terms of votes. I do think uh, people who have fought for their country come back with a sense that there's something more important than whether you're a D or an R. I think that's something that stayed with him in all his years in Congress, even though he was conservative, he was Republican, he had things he believed in, he had things he fought for with his party. He always remembered that there were some things that were more important, and I think that's something that a lot of people in politics today don't have. He really uh, believed that the United States, with our blessings of freedom and uh, the right to speak our minds, that we, we can't just take that for granted. And, you know, not that he felt not that the United States was perfect or that we didn't make mistakes, but that we should use those advantages to try and help people who aren't living in freedom. And right now, I think we're at a time where the leadership of the United States doesn't stand up for human rights, isn't speaking out for uh, democracy around the world. And John McCain uh, was somebody who believed uh, that this country, by, by virtue of, of what we get to enjoy had an obligation to do that and not to forget the people who aren't as lucky as we are. I hope that's something that in his legacy that we will hold on to.